Hi everyone, today in Rose Kitchen we are going to make pearl roti or coconut roti. I'd like to share two tips with you. In this recipe I use plain flour. Instead you could use outer flour which is a healthy option. And secondly I use desiccated coconut but if you have fresh coconut please go for it. Here we have two heaped cups of flour, one cup of desiccated coconut. I have put two tablespoons of warm water to moisten it. Then here half a teaspoon of salt. Half a cup of water we will use as needed, one onion chopped and one green chilli finely chopped. Now we will add the coconut to the flour. And the rest of the ingredients. You can also add some chopped curry leaves if you like. Now we will mix these ingredients together before we put the water in. We make a small well in the middle and put about half of the water and then keep mixing it to bring all of it together. Add a little bit more water. So don't add all the water in at once because we want to make sure that it's uh, just enough and not too moist. If that happens you will have to add a little bit more flour uh, in order to bring it to the right kind of texture. So we are going to make this into a nice firm dough. It has come together well. I didn't use any oil to make it not sticky. Now leave to stand for about half an hour so that all the ingredients come into well together. Now we can break it up into smaller pieces. So there it's looking beautiful. Now we will take each of these dough pieces, flatten it out and make it into the roti. I haven't once again used any oil or anything because it's not going to stick. I have kept a pan on the fire and heated it. I am going to put the roti. Since I am using a non-stick pan, I have not put any oil. But if you are using uh, one that is not non-stick, then you might want to dab a little bit of oil with the tissue and kind of wipe uh, all over the saucepan before you put the dough in. It should take about a minute or a little bit more on each side. If you have a large enough pan, you can put multiple rotis. Just make sure that you move it around to get heat evenly. Here's a finely prepared roti. It will go beautifully well with durumiris or some sini sambal or any preferred curry. Do try out the pearl roti recipe and also try out the runumiris and sinisambal recipes which I have posted in the comment section. 
and please subscribe to my channel, like the video and click on the bell icon for more recipes and tips.